Hi everyone. Today in this class we will talk about chapter number seven HTML introduction. So first, what is HTML? HTML is a markup language for creating web pages to display on www World Wide Web. So simply you can say HTML is a markup language which is used to create web pages, the pages that can be displayed over World Wide Web, or you can simply say the pages that you see on the internet. Any of the page is created with the help of HTML. Full form is Hypertext Markup Language. Okay, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Web pages are text documents. The pages that you see on the internet are also text document, but they are saved in such a way that it can be displayed on the www World Wide Web. These text documents have HTML commands with an extension .html. So whenever we save any of our HTML page, we have to apply this .html extension at the end of the file name. Then only your page will be saved as HTML page. HTML is a character based method for describing and expressing the controls of a document. The content may be pictures, text, sound, etc. So in this present scenario, I think all of you are using internet. So you can see in any or every web page, pictures are there, text are there, sound, audio, video, everything is there. So that all are made using the HTML language. A web browser such as Firefox, Safari, Chrome or Internet Explorer translates HTML encoded pages to display informative text, graphics and links on your computer monitor. Okay. So the software that is used to display the content of your web pages are called web browsers. And examples are Firefox, Safari, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, etc. Okay. So these are responsible to display your data on the screen. Now history of HTML. The word hypertext was first named and used by Ted Nelson in 1960s. He suggested the idea of non-sequential writing. Ted Nelson called this field as hyperworld. Tim Berners-Lee, the creator of WWW, developed HTML in early 1990s at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland. So two people are there. First one is Ted Nelson who used the word hypertext means all the text that is displayed on the web page that as you click on that you will be moved to some another page is called hypertext. It was developed in 1960 and Tim Berners-Lee was the creator of WWW means by Tim Berners-Lee nowadays we are using HTML language. Features. First one is HTML gives the text an attractive appearance means you can change the text, color, size, style according to your need. How? We will see later. HTML can display any kind of document from any computer on the host computer anywhere in the world. Means the information can be displayed in any corner of the world and it will be displayed same as it is displaying in India, it will be shown as same as in America also. Okay. HTML links various documents with one another. That is called hyperlink. By using the hyperlink, we can join or link any number of pages together. HTML is a versatile language suitable for use on such diverse platforms such as Macintosh, Windows, etc. Macintosh, Windows, these are the examples of operating system. So this HTML language can be used on any of the platform, whether you are using on your Android mobile, on your Macintosh PC or in your Windows, they will be displayed same. Okay. Now, next one is HTML editors. There are two main types of HTML editors. They are first one is WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get, full form of 
this. Okay, and second one is simple text editors. So first of all, what is this? WISIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. These type of editors allow you to create web pages without knowing how to write HTML codes. They have graphical interfaces and tools to develop web pages. They allow you to insert tables, hyperlinks, images, etc. So if you are using these type of editors, you don't need much knowledge of HTML codes. This types of editors have inbuilt codes. They will help you to write the HTML pages. Some examples are Adobe Dreamweaver, this one, and Microsoft Front Page, this one. These are the two mostly used WISIWYG editors in the world. If you don't have much knowledge of HTML, then also you can create the web pages using these type of editors. Okay. And second one is text editors. You can also create HTML documents using Notepad, WordPad or any other text editors. In text editor, you have to write HTML codes to create web page. Now, in this type of ed editors, Notepad or WordPad, you will not get any help from computer. You have to learn the codes or you have to see them. Then you have to write in your editors. Then only you will be able to create the web page. Here you will not get a help of any type from computer or from this editor. Okay. Now, next one is HTML tags. A web page is made up of HTML elements that are identified by HTML tags. So if you want to make a web page, you have to use HTML tags. An HTML tag tells a web browser how to display a particular text. So in HTML, plenty of HTML tags are there and each of them have different meanings. These type of tags tell the browser how to display that particular text. An HTML tag always begins with left angled bracket, this one, and ends with right angled bracket. So if you want to write any of the HTML tag, you have to start that tag with the left angled bracket like this, and you have to end it with right angled bracket like this. The text written in between the angled bracket provides specifications to web browser for displaying the element it encloses. So whatever the text you have written in between these will display by the web browser. Now HTML tags are of two types, container tags and empty tags. Container tags, these tags are always used in pairs and have a starting tag and ending tag also, both on and off tags. Define how the contents contained within them should be formatted. For example, to underline text, you will use underline starting tag and underline closing tag. To close the tag, we have to use this backslash, this one. This sign you have to use, backslash sign. While empty tags are standalone, which have only starting tag, they don't require an ending tag. The examples are HR, horizontal rule tag, and BR, line break tool are used simply as markers and cause a horizontal rule or line break to be inserted in the output. Okay, so in our HTML programs, we will use containers tags as well as empty tags also. We will see about them later. Okay, next one is HTML attributes. HTML attributes provide extra information about HTML elements. Attributes are always specified in the start tag. Here attribute will help you to define the properties of any of the tag. For example, body bg color equal to blue means here we are changing the background color. bg color means background color. We are changing the background color of the whole page by using this tag. Body bg color equal to you can give any color name of your choice between these double commas. So body is the tag and this bg color is the attribute. Okay. Here bg color is the attribute of the body tag which specifies the background color of the web page. 
Now, structure of HTML document. The structure of an HTML document consists of following tags. So these are the four mainly used tags. HTML tag, head, title, body. All of your work will be done between these tags or by using these tags. First, HTML tag. All HTML documents contain a HTML starting and HTML closing pair of tags. This sign is of closing. These tags identify the document's contents as HTML to the browser. Means, if you have applied the HTML tag, then only your browser will read it as HTML document. Otherwise, it will be treated as simple text document. The HTML tag goes in the line right under your doc type declaration. The HTML closing tag is the last line of coding in your document. Second one is head tag. The head, closing and starting tags identify the document's head area. The information between these two tags is not visible on your page. So if we write anything between this head tag will not be visible on your page but it will be displayed in the title bar of your page. Title bar, the first bar of your page, your data that is written between the head text will be shown in the title bar. I will show you later. Okay. Next one is title tag. The text in between title tag create the page title that is seen in the title bar of the web page. Title tag is the sub tag of head tag means between head tag we will write the title tag and this head tag will display the title tags information on the title bar of your page next one is body tag most important tag this tag appears just after the head tag the content in between body starting and body closing tags are displayed in the web browser so whatever you write between the body tag will be displayed on your web page this is the most important tag. Okay. Now, attributes of body tag. We are talking about the attributes of body tag. The body tag can have a number of attributes that are used to describe the formatting features for the entire body of HTML document. Some of them are given below. So basically three are given here, BG color, text and top margin. BG color, we have already discussed to change the background color of your web page text color is used to set the text color of the body text by default whenever you write anything your text will come in black color but if you want to change the color of it you can use it like this body text equal to any color name red blue green whatever you want you can write here we will show you later we will do the practical of all these things okay Top margin. It is used to set the top margin. It is a numeric value and the unit is pixels. Top margin will leave the space from the top side. Suppose you want to display your text here. So you can use this top margin equal to any number between 1 to 200, 300. According to that, your text will move. Okay. So this will be an example of your HTML web page you can see first line is html then we have written head in head we have written title in title we have written sun here title is closed then head closed now body tag is started we have written something in the body tag body close and html close this is the proper structure of your html page okay now how to save this page steps are given here you have to read them by your own in our next video, I will show you the practical of it. Till then, watch the video, press the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the new videos in your mobile daily. Thanks for watching.